So hello guys, welcome back to Top Team Esports. Um, so today we're going to discuss the recent um, update, and it is really a good update for the global server. So I'll give you tips on the event and as well as some um, pre uh, background on the new content uh, regarding the endless tower and the labyrinth forest. Okay, let's start. So first update, um, uh, the job level. Uh, cap has been moved to 130 so it means that um, probably on the next update uh, global server will have the fourth job so as you can see um, the fourth job usually starts at around uh, level 140 and together um, on C server it was released together with the time patrol uh, content so the last map here I think it, it's already uh, updated here in um, the global server as well. So you can um, you can have a background of the time patrol um, on our other video, so you can check that out. So next thing, I, uh, the new content is the endless tower. So the endless tower, you are given a free ticket every time you run the tower, and it usually cool. Uh, the cooldown is usually uh, seven days. So um, the free entry, uh, you will have five minutes to um, get as as high as you can in this tower. And um, what you will bring are your PVP companions. So if you guys were able to get uh, the five star PVP companion on the last uh, last event, um, it will give you uh, an easier time in progressing through the tower. You can also check here um, that there are uh, challenges where you can get um, materials to create your uh, shadow weapons. So usually um, it takes a lot of time in pumping your uh, BP uh, to, to progress to this tower. I'm not sure if in C server um, we already have players uh, finishing the tower. So far, the bottleneck there is around um, floor 35. So the ticket here, as I've said, only um, uh, cool, cools down, uh, cool down is 7 days. But you can create your uh, ticket through the tree. So the tree of darkness, you have another uh, reward, which is the endless tower ticket. So it costs around 500 points. So usually, um, you can use uh, gems. Or other materials that you, you don't uh, usually need to get the uh, the ticket and it's around 2400 minutes to play so if you don't um if you are already on max transcend regarding your job so you can um get uh, the end hour ticket so for more info or tips on regarding the endless hour you can click on this uh video um, we've already provided the tips on the endless tower so next is we go to the uh, new content which is the labyrinth forest so the labyrinth forest is um, unlocked when you reach uh, and it's located on the right side of the frontera labyrinth so it's unlocked when you reach on um, job level uh, 90 so um, the mechanics here is you have 10 minutes to finish the uh, content and you can attack um, every mob that you or every boss that you can um, encounter. So you can get um, what you can get here are the uh, card upgrades as well as the material to create um, the crystal of darkness which is used to upgrade your shadow gears. Also, you can uh, have the material here once you've um, defeated uh, Baphomet on the third floor. So, um, this one will give you a chance to get the 5 star shadow uh, cards. Okay, so the shadow equip, uh, you can access it here on the uh, hero and then near the, uh, the middle, the shadow uh, tab. So, only the weapon is unlocked as of the current update. So it's the same thing as the gear, 
so you have at, um, to level it up until uh, 40 to unlock the four card slots but um, I would not recommend you to um, try to uh, buy the packages for the shadow equip because it's too costly and it's too expensive and um, these uh, shadow crystals um, you won't be able to get to um, at I think level uh, or plus 20 even if you buy all of these packages so more tips regarding sh the shadow equip you can uh, click on the link here and you can um, be familiarized with the new functionality so next is about the event so the aim for the best accessory so it's the same as the previous event um, you can use your, you you can use your gacha coins here if you have um, not uh, used it yet on the five star event and I'll give you the tip on uh, which uh, accessories are worth to uh, get so same mechanics you have a uh, free replace every 12 hours and once you have the free replace you have a free roll on this um, on this event so um, the other craftables as um, maybe you are already familiar with um, there are only five here or four which are not uh, craftable so the black hat the priest necklace the expert ring and the ring of chaos so you can aim for that on four or you can aim for this one the exchange coin so um, uh, it's good because you can use it to craft um, whatever um, needed uh, equip uh, mostly the pe people are uh, going for the ancient gold ornament which you need around uh, 500 coins so the black cat um, you can get this if you are um, aiming to uh, pursue top one in infinite because um, some of the mon monsters are large and it is better to have this one um, transcended at, I think uh, until trans 6 and you can have the decent damage um, same as the white brooch at max, max uh, trans so the priest necklace um, it can be used by mostly uh, paladins or even stalkers so you have immunity or higher uh, sustainability the expert ring uh, you can use this to get the maximum um, cooldown reduction which is um, 50% However, that's the cap, so even though if you have the higher uh, uh, cooldown, it won't, it won't matter. Um, this is used usually by uh, wizards. And of course, the Ring of Chaos, um, the highest uh, skill damage um, ring that uh, you can get. Um, this one is better than the Sabas ring. Because the Sabbath Ring only uh, provides a uh, critical damage increase. However, this one it it amps your um, skill damage because of the attack and magic attack. Plus, if you already have it, then you can transcend your Ring of Chaos. So I think um, that's only the four accessories that are uh, is worth rolling for. So um, good luck in getting those uh, getting those accessories. Okay, so last is the event. Um, you can access the event through adventure and the event mode here on the lower part. So the event mechanics here is um, you have you have to battle each of the map. So per uh, for example for Frontera you have six fields. So each of the maps are open, and um, each map will have uh, up to level one hundred. So every time you challenge it, it um, gives you a score and you also get the kill. So in order for you to, um, if you're aiming to get the uh, top one in the event, so um, these are the tips. So if you are aiming, um, if you are aiming to be top one in score, you should focus on higher, um, higher level uh, monsters or maps because it gives you higher XP. As you can see, um, it starts um, um, for Orcville, it starts at uh, 276. 
while if you start in um, Frontera, it only gives 3 points. So if you are aiming for um, scores, go for higher maps first, if you can um, defeat them. Next is you can focus on the challenge. I'm not sure if you have um, the daily, so they didn't um, provide the ticket for the challenge. So in the challenge, it's uh, free every day per, uh, per area. So you can get the free ROP here per area once you finish it. Um, this is not um, account based, so if you have other characters um, in your account, um, they can also uh, use the free entry every day and as well get the ROP. Okay. So um, these boost um, the scores, so you can get um, higher scores to challenge it uh, daily. If you are um, looking for, um, or if you are wondering if you can get the kills on how to get the kills, um, the best way to get um, the top rank in kills is to attack the lower levels. First is because each attack um, will have a cooldown of I think a minute for you to attack the boss. So every uh, time you defeat the boss, the timer um, adds up. So I think around 2 seconds or 3 seconds. So the difference in um, the kill is that if you attack the higher floor, um, it will be longer to kill as well as you might end up losing. So you, you wasted um, your time in waiting for the type, boss time. So for you, for you to be on top of this event for the kills you focus on the lower floors and you try to attack maybe 10 every every field first so you attack uh, pouring uh, 10 times do not take 10 times and so on until you finish all, all of them um, uh, 10 times so that's how you that's how you get um, faster uh, points in kills so the good thing about this event is that if you are rank 1 so if you are rank 1 you get um, the dark exchange coin which is 75 as well as your um, title so aim for the top 3 because you have um, some title which will give you another boost in the library. So um, decent boost if you have uh, the special uh, library grade. Okay. So if you have other questions regarding the event and if you are uh, stuck, um, feel free to visit our page. Uh, Labyrinth of Ragnarok Info Hub and we will uh, answer all your questions there. Okay, um, the last but not the least of the update, even though if it's not shown on the patch notes, um, one thing that is uh, very great on this update is that the ROP um, used on the market has been um, reduced to, uh, reduced so um, I think it's half now. So for four star gears, you can get it at around 500 ROP instead of 1,000 and so on. Materials only cost 50, and even the sinisters are only cost uh, 1,000. So it gives you uh, more flexibility in terms of building a character, as well as um, you can explore more builds because of this update. 5 star only cost 1000 um, it's, re it's really good so I'm not sure if this is just a bug or this is just for the event so hopefully um, for the global server um, it will stay uh, as permanent and if not um, be sure to uh, get as much uh, equipped cards 
materials that you can get during this event. Hopefully, um, you have around 12 days before the next update. Maybe they will change it back. Okay, so that's it for this content, guys. Hopefully, you've learned a lot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel as well as support our uh, this channel. Okay, um, see you in the next video. Thanks.